Hello everyone, my name is Robert Bean, founder and CEO of V3 International here in Houston, Texas. And today is December the 5th, 2015, and we're here to perform a demonstration uh, using uh, most popular beverages that are out on the market today that most of us are consuming. And what we're doing is a pH test just to show the acid versus alkaline difference between sodas and different waters that we're consuming. So uh, to explain first, the pH scale, if you don't already know, goes from 0 to 14. And 7 is right in the middle, which is neutral. And your blood pH is supposed to remain at 7.36, which is in the alkaline range. And most of the beverages that we're consuming these days are in the acidic range, so you have to be careful what you, what you drink. You better be thinking about what you're drinking. So uh, what we're going to do is pour a little of these beverages into each glass and then we're going to put pH test drops into the glass, into the beverages to show you what the pH level is. Now when the pH is acidic, it's going to turn a nice yellow color. But when it's alkaline, it'll turn a nice purple color. And if it's neutral, it'll turn a reddish color. Now, know this, that diseases and sickness do not like to live or cannot live in an alkaline environment. But they do like and they love a uh, acidic environment. So if you see where this beverage turns yellow, then that means that's an environment that disease can grow and live. So here we go, putting the pH test drops into the beverages. You'll see what's going to happen. Just a few drops. Just put them in each one and then stir them up. You'll be amazed what happens. So I'm sure most of you out there see your face. So disease and sickness, as I said, loves an acidic environment. And the way the scale works from 0 to 14, I said 7 is neutral. Well, below 7 is acidic. And the way it works is 7 is neutral. 6 is 10 times more acidic than neutral. 5 is 100 times more acid than neutral. So, Four, five, uh, four is a thousand times, three is ten thousand times, and two is a hundred thousand times more acidic than seven. And your blood is supposed to be 7.36 to 7.4. So what we have here is all sodas, no matter if it's Coke, Dr. Pepper, Sprite, any kind of soda, is 2.1 on the pH scale. So these yellows right here are very acidic. This is 100,000 times more acidic than neutral. And then these other waters also show very yellow. So they're somewhere in the 6, 5, or 4 range. If we had our digital meter, we could tell you exactly. But then these waters here, Avion, Smart Water, and Fiji, are known as mineral waters or, or spring water. And spring water versus purified water still has minerals in the water, which makes it a more neutral pH. It's the minerals that's still in this water that makes it a neutral pH. But look what we have here with V3 hydrogen-rich structured water. Here at the end, this water turned purple. So of all these beverages, V3 hydrogen-rich structured water has a high alkaline pH in the 8.5 to 9 range. Now, what that means for us is, if we've been drinking any of these other beverages causing an acidic condition in our blood and our body, if you start drinking an alkaline water like V3 that's got lots of minerals and other things that do amazing things to your health, 
this is what happens. Watch this. So let's say you've been drinking these waters and you want to alkaline your body. It doesn't take very much V3 to change the pH. Now pay close attention to these waters as we add some alkaline water to neutralize pH. How long or how much water, how much V3 would it take to alkaline your body? Now these waters, it don't take very much. But you have to pay attention to these waters because purified water is known as hungry water. And what does that mean? It means that water likes to have minerals in it. And when you filter the minerals out, the water becomes hungry for minerals. And if you don't have minerals in the water, I mean, what the water does is it goes in your body and robs your, your, oh my gosh, look at this. This water never turns purple at all. So that means it's very acidic. These waters here, Ozarka and Nestle, also turn back yellow very quickly. So that means these waters are very acidic. Watch them close and they'll turn back yellow again. Because these are very acidic waters. So did this one here. So you have to be careful and be thinking about what you're drinking. Now, if you're drinking sodas every day, folks, watch this. Watch this Sprite and pay close attention to the color. Does it ever turn purple whatsoever? No, it does not. That means that it is very, very acidic. Now let's see what your 7-Up does. It never turns pink or purple or anything. It stays yellow. These two beverages, or these three beverages, are 100,000 times more acidic than 7. So what happens is, when you drink beverages that are acidic, your body goes into red alert and alerts your organs to rob minerals from your bones and, and your body to go back into the blood to raise the pH back to the level it's supposed to be at. So, you know, you don't want to drink acidic beverages. Avoid those as much as you can. You want to alkaline your body, alkalize and, and uh, help get rid of uh, health situations that you have. So if that was the demonstration. Uh, V3 hydrogen rich structured water is uh, alkaline pH, but it also has minerals like colloidal gold, colloidal silver, colloidal copper, magnesium, silica, Himalayan sea crystals, and fulvic acid. With those ingredients, you can go to our website, v3water.com, and find out what these ingredients do for you. But the reason we chose to add them to our water is because they're totally amazing. So when you put good minerals back into your body, when you put alkaline, hydrogen-rich water back into your body, your body can heal itself and do amazing things. So hope you enjoyed our presentation, and uh, be looking for us, v3water.com.